Okay. Now it gets interesting. Double lane all the way to Fajera. And we go to quite a few here. And seven or six tunnels. I can't remember. I'm trying to get it all on camera. So here we are. Mum and I are on the way to Fajera. We go to the mountains today. We're now on the 611 heading towards the north, towards Russell Tamar, and then shortly we'll be turning right. In the distance there's the second largest mosque in the United Arab Emirates. We just built that mosque. It's the second biggest one next to the one in Abu Dhabi. So all these big the trucks here that you see in front, these big white ones, and the ones there on the left, they carry stone, like to the Palm Islands, and these are empty, these are going back to the mountains, and on the left hand side you see the other trucks coming in, they carry fresh stone, there's thousands of them.
Okay, so here we are, we're on the Corfu Khan coastline. And uh, there's the Corfu Khan port. And they've just built this amphitheater right here, which is amazing. And they're going to host all types of shows and big things. And then you can see the mountains in the background all the way around and then eventually it just ends off there in the sea now, you that we show? yeah yeah they, i think they just had a show last week when they opened it oh, up i saw it in them and then they build up a, a facade here yeah, yes. and then they can uh, it's like a Colosseum in a way, huh? <laughs> Let's go see the waterfall over there. So, this is a massive waterfall that they've built on the side of the, the road. It's incredibly amazing. The way that it comes down. He's got a little sucker. Unbelievable, eh? This is how they clean the beach. Can you believe it? Make sure everything is uh, nice and neat. Wow, eh? So this is called Al Bidya Mosque. One of the uh, oldest mosques in the United Arab Emirates. Let's go read what it says on the plate there. Built, I don't know. Back probably many, many hundreds of years. This mosque, this mosque, my street al Bidaya, is built of stone and mud bricks and is coated in many layers of whitewashed plasters architecturally. The mosque is somewhat unique in the Emirates. Its distinctive structure and speciality is its roof, consisting of four pointed domes and supported by an internal pillar. It is unusual for religious architecture in the region. The prayer hall has a small mirhab and a simple minbar according to the radiocarbon analysis. analysis. The date of the mosque is maybe as early as 1446 AD. Okay, now we're on our way to Dibba. After a terrific lunch, yeah. At the Meridian Al Aqqa. And now we're heading up. No more through the mountains. 
but now we're heading to Barracuda Beach Resort on the other side and that is where our bottle store is. We're going to stock up for, for Christmas and uh, get some frost. I don't think I've ever seen the mountains this clear right in front of us. It's awesome. Kayla, this is where we brought you. I think it was down that down this one road here with all your school friends, and we had to do um, your project. I'll find those photos and I'll insert one of the photos into the thing. Courtney, you were with us, if I'm not mistaken. It was just down here on the side. Interesting. I think there's an orange tree on that guy's farm. Really? Yeah. I don't know if you can see it in the distance, but that's that's part of Oman. That's the next section. Up over those mountains all the way. Oh, I've never seen it that clear. Double border into Oman is two kilometers away. You would climb up over those mountains and then it's a long, long, long way. Wow. So, this is Dibba. To my left is the port of Dibba. And then those the mountains over there, that belongs to Oman. Running all the way to that point over there and that's the Strait of Hormuz you go around that point and then you enter the Persian Gulf on the other side of those mountains and it is absolutely spectacular I've never seen it like this in all my life living in this part of the world okay we're almost out the mountains and then we're going to hit the, the desert sands again we've had a great day so far great roads here in the United Arab Emirates now we're heading to Barracuda. Can't wait to get there. Okay, so we're out of the mountains and back on the flat road. Before you know it, we'll be back into the desert. So we've um, done all our shopping mm. at Barracuda, <laughs> as you can see behind me. So we've bought enough for three weeks. We're having a little chalky, filling up with petrol, and then we're on our way home again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we're stuck in a little traffic jam. We had to take a detour. Oh, where's that guy going? He's found a new, he pulled to the side. He, he knows he can go on that way. But anyway, they're making this new roundabout and it's really a big roundabout. Oh, look at him, he's going on that road all on his own. This roundabout is, it's massive. This will be the new 611 extension to Russell Tamar that they haven't opened yet. It's going to be open very, very shortly. Take this road now. Yeah, this is Dubai. Yeah, this is Dubai. Here we go. Dubai. Beautiful new road. Now we just go straight all the way home. Another 109 kilometers from here. the sun in our eyes most of the way home, you know that? Yeah. Uh, it's, just it's gonna be like this all the way. Shit. Yeah, I, I, I'm so tall I don't need to see it. So there we are, almost home, sun setting and uh, five minutes to go. And we're nearly at home. 